Absolutely beautiful day. It's had a little shower this morning, a really light one. I suppose they have more, but I think it's, uh, I hope it's passed by. I'm just going out front. I don't feel like driving all the way to the land of Nada today. Tide's low in about an hour and a half to two hours, I don't remember which. I'm going to try it here and see how it looks. Go down there by the dredge. Stand by. The only thing I'm doing different today is I got the wireless headphones. I've been using my Black Widows, with the module. But I decided just to try to, it's not very windy today, so I figured it'd be kind of quiet. They're a little noisy, them mice and wireless headphones, but they're nice and light. We'll see how it goes. Uh-oh. I think the battery just went dead in the wireless headphones. Well, we're back. We got the Black Widows on, module. We're gonna go down here about uh, 50 feet. I see a little hole, depression light. -like. We'll hunt that, then we're gonna turn around and go to the bridge. Stand by. Well, the first target is kind of jumpy. Two, three, nine. It jumps. Two, three, nine. Well, we got it. I got the big scoop today, so I mean the big hole scoop. So a lot of that little crap's gonna fall through. It reads three out of the hole. See a little speck of something there. See if that's it. Nope, that's not it. Well, this is it. Nope, that's not it. Whatever it is, is already gone okay so much for that taquita well it's about knee deep I'm in the deepest part of this little hot pole right here. And I got a piece of copper and a bottle cap. Well, we know it's sanded in because we ain't finding hardly anything. You see a little low spot right there. There's another one up there about four or five hundred feet. And that's when we get to the boat yard, the scrap yard, you know, where all the brass is. We don't find anything there. That's really an indication it's sanded in bad. I bug another bottle cap. That's all I got. Two bottle caps and a piece of copper. But you see it's nice. It's just no talquitos. Stand by. Let's see if there's anything in this little pocket. Solid 25. I dug two pieces of brass at 20 a minute ago, came in at 20. I thought it looked like it might be pieces of keys. I dug one piece and I swung over and got another hit with another piece of key. At least what looks like a key. This is 10 meager cent. 10 cent. That's just what it's supposed to be. 10 cent. Here we got a jumpy one. Two, six, ten and jump two. Two six ten. 
Well, I see some wire there. Fell through as I was shaking it out. There it is. Come on, wave when you need me. Where's a little help out here? Tide, no tide. There it is. Well, I believe it's a part of a bracelet. Look at that. Got a, got a lobster coil on it. It's solid, twisted, twisted up, you know, like it's been, been there for 200 years. I don't know. This might be okay. Stand by. We'll stick a reference any more in there. Nope. That's the only sound. This, this is a wide spot right here. I'm having to work it. You see it gets wider as I come this way. I'm working in and out now. It'll get narrower back that way. I don't see the dredge, but I see all the boats. I see the uh, buoys. I see all the pipe. You can you probably can't see it, but that's pipe. Looks like about a half a mile of pipe. I don't know where the dredge went to. You know, it was here yesterday. That's strange. I guess it's... I wouldn't think they'd leave for the weekend. They said they're going to be here, take 12 days, and they'd be done and gone, barring any breakdowns or weather. But we haven't had any weather to stop them. I don't know. Let's see. Will it go that way? We'll see more. Well, we're right in the boat yard now. We ought to be picking up some brass. Stainless. If it ain't all sanded in. This is a good way to find out. So far, nothing. I've been experimenting with threshold. A lot of people have been making comments about the Equinox is an entirely different machine if you hunt with no threshold. I've always used threshold. I've always liked it. Except when I had the Excalibur all the time, I hunted it with no threshold in the iron infested area. I hunted with it uh, yes, the uh, other day with no threshold, and it worked okay. But I got threshold on today about 8. They want you to set it between 0 and 3, which is no threshold. I'm going to experiment with it a little more today. As soon as I find some stuff to dig, you know, if I, if I find anything to dig. All right, I'll get back to you. Well, right there is a tugboat pulling all that pipe. I doubt you can see it, but you might be able to see it. It's like great big pontoons with pipe on them. You know dredge, what dredge pipe looks like. It's long, I mean long. And I might get run out of here. We'll go a little further when we turn around. Well, I honestly don't know what this is going to be. It's jumping from a, from a 3 to a 10. It's a solid 8 and 9 out. Piece of aluminum. I got a scratchy 25. It's got some iron around it, but it's a good solid 25 in the hole.
23 now. I got this is the full scoop I got off of it. The fifth scoop. Well, we got the loud sound out anyway. see anything loud. I see crap. Rock. Let's give it one more scoop. Stand by. Well, it was in there. Pretty penny. About four feet away. We got a scratchy six. Sometimes it jumps to three. Iron, iron all around it. That might be a bottle cap. There's a solid seven right now. Whatever it is, it's down that way. Stand by a minute. Scratchy. As I was digging it out, there's all kinds of iron coming out. Iron, you know, cop copper colored sand. Rusty sand. It's probably the back end of this spoon that I found. Might be still in there. Okay. I think we got it. I think it fell through. We're in the 22 carry category now anyway. That's it. Three and eight is junk too. Stand by. Well, there it is. Looks like a piece of aluminum with some crap grows on it. Maybe a pull tab. Looks like a full tab at the top. You can see the uh, tugboat is still pulling the pipe, but the tide has got it. It's stretched out to the east right now, but it's coming closer. You see there's a rock there, there's a rock there. A couple of rocks behind me. That's a good sign, I think. I hope. Well. I'm going to turn around right here and head on back to Rancho Max. I'm going to hunt up here, I think, going back kind of high in the damp. It's really soft right there, but right here it's kind of firm. So I'm going to hunt this firm zone. 
as I go back. Well, we've been about an eighth of a mile. We've got an 18 here, or a 13, I oh, a 13. like a cruddy penny. Well, there's my exercise spin. I don't think I ever found a, a, a stack of these. I found one or two individually in 20 years. And I think these are keys or were keys. You can see the slot going through there like that. I don't know what kind of keys, but keys. Okay. Mumbles man did go to the land of Nala. He did a shade better than me, but he was mumbling, he said. I'll give it to you in a minute. Mumbles man. <laughs> Junker. He said Junker ring. One piece of gray matter. Looks like three quarters, two dimes, three nickels, and eight or ten pennies. Be tied on the caps. Okay. I don't know where to go tomorrow. I got a farmer's. I got that new farmer's market tomorrow. It's an old, you know, East Beach farmer's market. The first one I ever sharpened knives at. It's moved to a new location. It's moved to the front of that big complex where we were set up in the park. The last since 2012. My truck's all loaded. I loaded it about an hour ago. Had it rain. The market's over at noon, the tide's not low till 1 or 2, so I'll probably get in a spin tomorrow afternoon, too. We'll see how it goes. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody.